so hot. You tell me you don't want to talk to me right now? It is so hot. We, uh, we're about to head to the lanes. We'll talk when we get down there. Um, got some data on the track, track temp. Everyone's been knocking tires off. It's just too hot to- Even uh, the, the Ultra Street cars right there knocking the tires off. It's just, it's not a track prep issue. It's a, the track is physically too hot. So. Track temp issue. Uh, we're gonna try to, um, we pulled some power out of it, made a suspension adjustment. We're trying to find that tune-up that'll go down. If we if we need to get a tune-up that'll go down garbage. If we can do that, then we could be dangerous. So we'll talk to you more down the lanes. God, if Jason ate shit right now while I have it on camera. We just have to go home. Oh. Like you're a little hot. Look at the window sticker on the back of that Mustang. Go over there. I'm dead. That's some funny shit right there. All right, so uh, we're in the lanes, second shakedown, got some track temp measurements, and uh, it was like 130, Jace, what was it, 137? 130, 138. 138? It's just, like, I, I think people are like, it could be a chassis setup issue why some people aren't getting down, but more than likely out here, it doesn't matter how good your chassis is, it's gonna be difficult to get down. The track is just, it's too hot for the surface. I mean, it's yeah, just it's gotta be a salt tune, salt tune. You know, super loose suspension and go A to B and then start. So we pulled some power out of it where it should be that like four, I think it's be that 450 tune up range where we ran against like uh, Billy. Um, 112 to 115, 60 foot. Softened up the rear shocks, try to get a little more separation. Um, what else? Loosen up the front as well too, to let it try to push, push a little more weight on the back tire. But I mean, if there's, if there's honestly no telling. Uh, what if, if we it, stuck Joe in there, would it help? If he was stuck him in the trunk, it might, but we got to go out there and uh, we'll leave on it. If it spins the tires, you know, we'll look at the data we get. We come back and make another adjustment. It's just tough because you don't know what you're going to be like racing on. So slick cars are, cars are doing donuts in the burnouts right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Someone just did a, a, a donut in the burnout. So. How's it going? Good luck today. Thank you, man. I appreciate you're gonna that. going to get a picture from my friend over here. Awesome. <laughs> So we're going to go get a drink of water, but we're going to come back and see you run. Thank you. I appreciate it. Crazy. I really enjoy when people come up and say what's up because it's nice to put a... I mean, it's, it's nice to see people that are watching, you know? So, like Joe. Joe is one of my biggest fans, and uh, he comes by and, and says what's up. It's a little annoying at times how much he does because he doesn't leave me alone. He tried to stay with me last night, but we worked through it, and uh, and now look at him. We're getting along. <laughs> Dude, you could put your boots over your shoes, but if you pull your shit out of a bag in the stadium lane. I want to be just like you. You got too much gray hair already. I'm disrespect. Just leave. I know. Just leave. Are you trying to do something tonight? Yeah, I'm going to need like... I'm going to start at the 60, okay? I'm willing to give you... The back tire and the clear with the shoots. Clear with the shoots? Clear with the shoots. Uh, let me go whip up a pecker real quick. <laughs> you ain't clearing a 15 foot pecker off the front of this car, guarantee it. No, I hope he goes down for it. Hey, that's your battery right there? Yeah. He's telling me I got too much gray hair. I'm about to go home. I noticed that. He was trying that. to say when he grows up, he wants to be like me. I said, you already got too much hair. You already grown up. Too much gray hair, man. Yeah. I kind of noticed that. I saw him the other day on YouTube. Maybe it's the lens. It's stretched. No, it's stretched. The weight is the lens. The hair is stretched. Hey, I'm up $6. I'm already up for the week. Let's go home. That's house money, right? <laughs> 
All right, put your bets in the bag. Put your bets in the bag. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Hey, did you remember how to spell your name right this time? I spelled it right this time. Don't worry, don't worry. That's why I keep you around, Wes. <laughs> Gotta keep you in check. <laughs> I said I asked him if he made sure he spelled it right. Oh, I, actually, I, I actually sign a lot of oh, hieroglyphics. That's cool. That's cool. Congrats. That's what it's about. Oh. Look at Logan. Logan's first autograph. Oh, Logan, spell it right. <laughs> spell it for me. Hey, hey don't be using my joke. <laughs> Let me get over here, number one. <laughs> I'm about to spit his drink out. <laughs> you sure you want to get a fucking seat up right now? You got a little weight. Yeah, man. Like, they're running us right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm like three pairs Go ahead and get ready. Get in there. Am I not? Or get in there, Bucko. Us? Yeah, come on. Get in. I don't think you know me. I get in the car way too early almost every time. Joe, Joe almost pulled the dog, the Willie dog, or uh, Pro Stock Joe. He got Pro Stock Joe it over the the push bar.
meter recorder here? Hey, you want to make a guess on what it went? You got that a slip? No, not yet. Uh, I was going to say I like an 80. Here, you want this? I bet it went faster than that. I bet it went like a 65. I don't know. I, I don't, pedaled it for pedaled a hot it. minute. Yeah. Pedaled it. I don't think it... It, it didn't really spin. It shook, it but... Just, it just rattled I wanted to get that data, so I, I stayed in it. I don't know if that was the right call or not. Is that neutral? I mean, I don't know. It should be all right. I just want... I need, like... I feel like that could be competitive in the heat of the day. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like, after I got back in it, I'm like saying to myself, I'm like, why am I hold, hanging it out the back? But like, well, I was we already in see, it. Well, we need to see. I mean... Yeah. I kind of need to see. Got, like, maybe 20 passes on this motor. It's not like it's going away anytime soon. So, um, we'll get some data from it. We'll look at the log. Go back. That, that can't be that bad. I mean, for how hot. That's like, no, that's the tune-up we hold and put to the side and see if we need it later. Yeah. Same as the dock. Um, went down. I was happy. I mean, didn't go A to B. There was a little, well, there was, we went to A, B, and then C. But uh, it went a, a four, 460. Uh, 119 60 foot uh, pedaled it in the 60 so yeah um, it, the tire shook in the 60 foot so um definitely we're going to review the footage but that looks like an air pressure issue probably too low on air pressure so you can tell whenever uh you see these marks so it'll be like a strip and then nothing in another strip it's where the radial is wadding up doesn't have to enough air pressure for the sidewall um, to keep it from wrinkling so you want to go up maybe depending on wheel width uh we're going to probably go up three quarters of a pound go out and check it until that's alleviated but that was the most down we've got thus far. Yeah. So everybody else was having a hard time getting down. So for us to go down, uh, John might have been able to drive through it. It did sound like he pedaled it. So we'll look at the. Yeah, data. I definitely pedal it for a hot minute. Uh, that was the first time this car ever shook. Or did you let out? Yeah, I ran out the back. I was like four seconds into wide open throttle, and I'm like, why am I? Oh, we're this far. Okay. So, so um, yeah. let's look at the data, and we'll go from there. Can you get the video off this yeah. so I can look at the tires? Yeah.
all right. Wes said, it, Wes said it was all right. It was all right. We're doing all right. All right. I'll call you a little bit. Where do you think it went? I have no idea. I mean, I got I out of it. I was like, I 500 can't. feet? <laughs> nah, it was sooner than that. Was it? I don't know why. What? We were supposed to hit, do a 330 hit, and I. Yeah, you should have made a 660 hit. I like. As soon as I like all that button, I'm like full on race mode. Like I'm like I'm gonna get this thing to the finish line, and. You should have uh, stayed in it. That that would have been the fastest pass to date. Of this car? Yeah. Of this car ever? No way. We're gonna go again tonight, and I swear to you, we're gonna run this thing out the back, and it's going to. Yeah. I mean, I'm not mad with it. It went down, uh, and we clicked it off pretty early, uh, so we'll um. I hope we get another one tonight. We're gonna to turn it up, turn it up. So, so we'll, we'll try to turn this thing around. Jason's the king of turning around cars fast. Like when we get back, he's like, I mean, he's just, he's he's brutal to the point where he's like, just get it done in in 20 minutes. We get the car turned around. So, um, yeah, we get we're like working like a well old machine. We got Joe here working, pulling the front end out with Jason. We got to vacuum the valve covers, uh, put the trans cooler on it, um, refill the fuel tank. Uh, ben and Matt work on the tune-up, and um, Logan gets vacuum on the valve cover, so we're we're cooking with peanut oil here. The amount of bugs that are on me right now. What you doing? All right, so uh, last pass was the first tune-up, um, so like the heat of the day tune-up went down pretty good. But we're having an issue where our dome pressure on launch that we're commanding and our boosts are getting pretty far off, so put a little time. What do you? I, I can't say it on camera. You got to say it. Ben, say it. What are we putting in here? A timing, a timing retard. We're putting a retard. <laughs> we're putting a timing reduction in to try to get it to where we get a little bit more exhaust energy through the EGT. Um, anytime the engine is the the timing's retarded versus advanced, it'll build more EGT and help it build boost. So we're gonna spool it up real quick and uh, and see how it sounds. So you're ready for me to fire it up? Fire it up. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit slower getting up there, uh, but you could, it made 11 pounds right there. So, um, okay. so that was the dome pressure at 13. So if we went to like 15 on the dome, then you do it. So there's a few different ways in Holly where you can do your target boost. So you do target dome, which is how this car set up. I like to do map base. So it, what it's doing is it's just targeting a certain pressure. So if you want to leave on 10 pounds, it's going to target that and it'll manipulate the dome pressure first how much boost you have so if you're under target it will add dome so if you want to be at 12 it'll add 15 pounds or 16 or 17 or whatever dome it needs to do to get to 12 but this way is just if you put 12 that's all the dome you get so we've been i've been like talk forever i've been because like i'm used to run the ams which is literally like a separate boost controller which it's not integrated into the ECU or the wiring it's like harness. It's like Yeah, it's standalone. So all you can manipulate is dome pressure. Uh, so you've always been telling me, like, I've, you've always heard me say, uh, your dome pressure is not relative one to one. It's not 10 pounds of dome and 10 pounds of boost. In some cases it is, but in a perfect world, that'd be great, but it's not like that. So like Matt was saying, you tell the Holly to target um, a certain boost number, let's say 30 pounds of boost, and it doesn't matter if you have a boost leak somewhere or something, it's going to put enough CO2 on there to do everything it can to make that. The density of the air, so an engine will want to run um, the best lower the grains of water. An engine wants to run on O2, not HO2. So grains of water is a measurement of how much moisture is in the air. And it, uh, I like to tune with it better than uh, VA, the density altitude. So more grains of water, you gotta run more boost to make the same power. Less grains of water, you can run less boost to make the same power. It's all cylinder pressure. Don't worry about boost or anything. It's X amount of cylinder pressure is gonna be X amount of horsepower. It's all just gonna have to boost. So we're hoping we can get another shakedown tonight. That would be ideal. 
Um, the tracks definitely come around. The air definitely come around some. And it's going to be one of those things where um, if we're racing in the heat, it might not be super beneficial. We might not use the tune-up out here, but for us learning the car, us going fast in the long run, we want to get as much data as possible. Um, and, and I want to make another pass. So uh, we, went, uh, we went down the last two. And that last pass, we cut it off early, went a 460, uh, 295 through the middle. So, I mean, I'm happy with it. Joe, how'd it look? Looks good. <laughs> Damn good.